Welcome to another Ziva math video. If you can divide two numbers without getting a remainder, then the first number is divisible by the second. Being able to quickly determine if a number is divisible by another can be helpful in many situations, but especially for factoring and working with fractions. There are divisibility rules that can help you determine if a number is divisible by 2 through 9. This video will focus on the divisibility rules for 6, 7, 8, and 9. For a number to be divisible by 6, it must also be divisible by 2 and 3. So when we look at our examples, we're going to look at the rules for whether the number is divisible by 2 and whether it's divisible by 3. So with 16, for it to be divisible by 2, it has to be an even number. So we'll look at the final digit, the 6. 6 is an even number, so 16 is divisible by 2. Then we'll need to test for divisibility by 3, which means we'll take the digits, 1 and 6, we'll add them together, we get 7. Then we have to look at if we divide 7 by 3, do we get a whole number? And we don't. So 16 is not divisible by 3, and therefore it's not divisible by 6. We'll run the same test for 48. We'll look at the last digit, the 8. The 8 makes 48 an even number, so it is divisible by 2. Then we'll add our digits, the 4 and the 8. 4 plus 8 is 12. We can divide 12 by 3 and get a whole number answer. So 48 is also divisible by 3. And because it's divisible by both 2 and 3, it's divisible by 6. With 57, we're looking at the final digit, which is a 7. 7 is an odd number, making 57 an odd number, not divisible by 2. And just for the sake of an example, let's go ahead and run our test for divisibility by 3. Even though we already know if it's not divisible by 2, it can't be divisible by 6. So we would be adding 5 and 7, and we get 12. 12 is divisible by 3, so 57 is divisible by 3. But as we just said, because it's not divisible by 2, 57 is not divisible by 6. For our last example, 576, we'll look at the same test. The final digit is a 6, making this an even number, so it is divisible by 2. Then we'll be adding all of our digits together, so 5 plus 7 plus 6, and we get 18, and we're looking at whether 18 is divisible by 3, and it is. So because 576 is divisible by 2 and by 3, it is also divisible by 6. If you need to determine whether a number is divisible by 7, there's unfortunately no divisibility rule for whether a number is divisible by 7. You're just going to have to take your number, divide it by 7, and see if you get a whole number quotient. The rule for whether a number is divisible by 8 is that if a number formed by the last three digits is divisible by 8, then the number is divisible by 8. So if we're looking at 872, it's only a three-digit number. We have to consider all three digits, and we have to determine whether those three digits are divisible by 8. And to do that, you're going to have to divide it by 8. So determining whether a number is divisible by 8 is going to take a little bit of work. And in this example, you see when we work through the division, 872 divided by 8 is 109. So 872 is divisible by 8. And we want to look at one more example, 4,536. And again, we're only going to consider the last three digits. So even though you have to divide it by 8, you don't have to work with as many digits. We only need to consider the 536. So we're going to take 536 and divide it by 8. And as you can see, when we divide 536 by 8, we get 67, a whole number, which means 4,536 is divisible by 8. And it's also important to make a note here that if you're working through the long division steps and you end up with a remainder, then your number is not divisible by 8.
The divisibility rule for 9 is very similar to the divisibility rule for 3. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. So we're going to look at a few examples, and we're going to start with 27. We're going to take the digits 2 and 7, and we're going to need to add those together, and we get 9. Next, we need to look at whether that sum is divisible by 9. Well, if we take 9 and we divide it by 9, we get a whole number answer. So 27 is divisible by 9. With 32, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our digits, the 3 and the 2. We're going to add them together. 3 plus 2 is 5. Then we need to determine if we can take 5 and divide it by 9. Well, 5 divided by 9 is not a whole number answer. So 32 is not divisible by 9. Same thing with 76. We're going to take the 7 and the 6, add them together. We get 13. Is 13 divisible by 9? When we divide 13 by 9, we do not get a whole number answer. So therefore, 76 is not divisible by 9. And just like with all of our other rules, we can apply them to even larger numbers. With 873, we have to take all three digits and add them together, the 8 plus 7 plus 3, and we get 18. When we take 18 and divide it by 9, we get a whole number answer of 2. So 873 is divisible by 9. And one final example, 6,867, we're going to add all of the digits. So 6 plus 8 plus 6 plus 7, we get 27. We need to determine whether 27 is divisible by 9. We get a whole number answer of 3, which means 6,867 is divisible by 9. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.